So all right guys, uh, so we are back. We are going to continue the project. So this is going to be for part number three. Uh, in this video, we are going to implement, uh, we're going to uh, create the login process, okay? So uh, in the last video, uh, we have seen that how to, how to and how to generate the project and how to create the entities and how to re sign up the we also implemented the uh, sign up uh, template where, we, where a user can register. Uh, okay, uh, so um, in this in this part, we are going to create the login login implementation. Okay, so for that, let's get into it. Uh, go to controller class and uh, get into the class. Here, I'm going okay. to have one get uh, method and let's call it login after that uh, the encapsulation is uh, public and modify it then uh, return type would be string then get the uh, login page login page Then I'm going to return uh, a string which would be login. And uh, to see that, uh, let's go to the template. I'm going to create one HTML uh, file in it. And the name will be login. And then I have the code uh, for HTML code that I already created. I mean, added here. So I'm just I will just do copy and paste over there. Okay. Okay. Let me move this over. Okay. I'm done for login. Okay, uh, now I'm going to add the handler, okay? So login, okay. Uh, successful handler. So whenever I successfully uh, login, it should it should redirect me to the user page. So for that, uh, let's create a class over here. Uh, call it handler, okay. package name. Then uh, the class name, login, success, handler. And is, is going to implement authentication successful handler. Oh, sorry. And it contains a method which we have to implement. And before that, add this class with annotation. So now also I'm going to uh, inject a user service. Put that uh, I don't have to do anything. Uh, let me make it uh, aesthetic. Okay, okay. However, uh, we successfully uh, we successfully log in. It should uh, uh, it should uh, response redirect us. So we direct to the user. Okay. okay, I think it's okay now. Add the template for the uh, user. Call it user. Mm, add the user code. So in the user uh, template, I'm just going to sh uh, show the username and uh, the role. Okay. Uh, this is it. After that, um, go to controller class and create a user controller here. 
can get this one with controller and I will just open forward slash and it will contain an uh, which is going to return me the with any word the string element so whenever user is being called you should return me the string complete uh, i mean it should get me the user page send it return is it uh, okay controller done login controller done user controller done now then we go into the security config now uh, there are some methods that i have to implement and i need to modify it such as uh, public user detail service then it should return me what? Now you can move custom user TV service. Okay. This custom okay. user TV service you have created in the last video. Okay. So if you have any doubt, you can check out. Uh, okay. Uh, and I am to this one with the uh, beam. And after that, uh, one more thing that is authentication provided. Authentication provided. Uh, provided. Create a class of the authentication provider. New the authentication provider, then provider, set uh, user detail, user detail. After the provider, set uh, password encoder, uh, password encoder. Then single data provider. Uh, also make sure one thing that you have added the ambition here. Be an ambition. And the last would be um, this one is a, it's a public authentication manager. This one. Get authentication manager. Then uh, it's going to return what? Okay, inside this one, we have a one parameter. We are going to pass one parameter that is authentication configuration. Configuration. It's a configuration that I'm going to get the authentication. So it will ask me to throw an exception. So let's throw it. Exception okay. Also at the bin annotation only. Okay, and I finally get into this uh security filter filter chain method. Uh, then we need to make some changes over here inside this one. So let's say we need to permit some path and and uh, and the rest we need to uh, we, we are going to authenticate. Okay, so let's say request margin if my request is coming on sign up, uh, then it should not, uh, it should not, uh, it's sh it going to permit me. It, should, uh, it, should, it shouldn't ask me for uh, authentication. Then, however, I hit login with login. That time also, it should not ask me for authentication. Um, and, all. and 
uh, and uh, and uh, beside that if any request comes if I from this two then it should be going to check the authentication for that any request then it should be authenticated and okay here it is okay then uh, authentication provider uh to the method name okay authentication forward get into the insert so i know what is successful then success envelope okay so here i need to import the success envelope in this uh method so that target manual login success manual Login success. Okay, you can use. I'm in a constructor. I'm going to use a lambda connection. So it by default is going to uh, create a constructor for this uh, mm -hmm. uh, variable. And in this parameter, pass it over here. Login success interval. Okay, anything that I need to check on? I think this is it. Uh, let's uh, run the project. And then we are going to check on. Mm. So in the next part, we are going to implement all the all the logic. Okay. So here till, till up to I mean uh, so far we have created the how to login how to register the user and uh, with the same account we, we, um, with the same credential we are going to log in so after this on successful login it will take us to the user uh, template so this is what we have done so far in the next video we are going to implement all the logic that uh, we have whenever user reach to uh, three payload time then it should lock us for uh, some period of time i mean we, we will give that time and also we are going to implement Chrome operation that will automatically reset the user account unlocked automatically. Okay. Let's run the Chrome. And let's head into this uh, this local uh, host where my application is running on ETP. I uh, login. So here it is. So in the login page, I can go go for sign up. Okay, this is the registration form that we have seen in the last uh, uh, last video. So here we already have created an account. Now we are going to. Uh, use that account email so demo at jsco.com and password as one on uh, you click on login and it should uh, it should uh, uh, redirect me to the user page so or I can see email id is demo at jsco and run user and if I log out then it will it, it will show me you have been logged out and if I if I try to use with the uh, Wrong credentials. It will give me this uh, invalid error. So this is it. Uh, this is uh, this is all about this part. So in the next part, we are going to implement all the logic. Okay. So bye bye, and keep learning, keep practice.